I'm Phil. And I'm Angelina. With our husky lightning and a lot of wildlife around us, we live in this fairy tale chateau in France. We love bringing this neglected castle back to life inside. And we've got the vast grounds and parkland to take care of as well. We love the moat, but it brings some challenges with it. But it's all worth it when we get to share it with everyone at our live music events. Follow the ups and downs of our chateau life. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel and we are back in the room and we are doing something new. We are finally fitting the clothing and I've got some a really good friend helping here. He has been here before, you've seen him. He's helped me before on sanding down the walls before we painted the lower parts of the room and now we're finally doing the clothing. So I called in an expert who's done this before because we haven't. There is my lovely Malcolm and we are starting on the coving. This is the bit that Philly has done with a gap in there. And then we read your comments and we took on board some really good tips and Malcolm has done the coving before, so I called in Malcolm to help us. So we have started after much tribulation. Uh, we finished this corner, but we are yet plenty of area to do here. But it's going to look wonderful and it's obviously the main important thing is that it's taking shape and it's the final bit uh, that really add lovely character here. So let's get on with it. A lovely coffee table makes a lovely workshop area. These are the tools we're using. Mitre corners to cut the right angles for the coving. And we, we play with two different ones and I think Malcolm's one wins and it's always good to have as many tools out as possible to help you with the project ahead. For the pipe section I plan to use this tool that we have, I've shown this before, to measure how far away from this rail the pipes began and what the diameter is so that we can cut it around the polystyrene coving so that it fits flush and perfect in there. So here it is, let's say I line it this way, something like that, and all I do is literally press them in and it will take an indent. So I need two hands for that, but you get the rough idea. And here is the perfect imprint of the pipes. As you can see, actually one sticks out further out from the wall than the one on the right. So this is a really, really useful tool to have. And here is the tool against the coving. On the left, I've made a mark uh, just to say where the wall is. And then there we go. There are the pipes. Nice and easy. And of course, in order to know how far the pipes go, I simply reversed it. So the furthest pipe being on the left is this one. And the shortest pipe would be this one. See? So that's all I did. Nice and easy. And hopefully that would be perfect fit. But we need to see once we cut them out. And then once it's all cut into place, we just simply apply the special glue onto this polystyrene coving so it doesn't melt. Just along the edges where it will touch the wall and the ceiling. So both edges need to be done. Which Malcolm says, we don't need a lot, do we? No. no. Otherwise so much comes out if you put it on the wall. <laughs> once you squeeze it out, indeed. Messy job, uh, and they, then the glue literally dries white, as you can see. It is white, and then it just stays white. X is a really nice filler as well, doesn't it, for the little gaps that appear in there. Yep, yep, it's perfect for that, for your little, little cracks. Mm. Definitely. Well, it's a slow progress job. We have made some mistakes along the way on the corners, but we learned and just, if you don't do this job every day, then of course you just you make mistakes and you're going, you know, semi slowly. But if you look at it, uh, essentially half of this room is done and the other half is yet to do. And that's for another day. So it's brilliant. Uh, I reckon so that should be finished in two days, two to three days in case there are any issues. Thank you. 
working on the clothing on the other side of the room. There's been some ups and downs, hiccups, little small things, but otherwise it's pretty good. The one thing we are not looking forward to dealing with is this corner because it's not the usual 90 degree corner. It's like somewhat irregular 45 and look at that angle. So I think there'll be quite a lot of adjustments to do there. Plus I've got the pipes up there as well. So yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Line. And then that's it. Okay, now it's end of day two and it's very dark. We had to work well past the usual working time, but the coving is done. Here is what the ceiling looked like before. And here is what it looks like now. And finally, the gold is done and so is the coving and it's starting to look like a wonderful chateau room. Okay, so the room is really starting to take shape and you're probably wondering what is there left to do. So, gold is done, tick. Coving is done, tick. Well, almost. Okay, so here are the things that is left still to do on the coving to perfect it. Otherwise, it's actually looking really great otherwise. There are some areas like this where the two coving meet and we have a little gap which needs filling. On some areas, I actually have a quite large gap between the wall and the coving itself. You know, you're dealing with a really old chatter where the ceiling and the walls are not quite straight. And because you're dealing with an old chateau or building of any kind that is old and was built to different standards before, you are dealing with quite a lot of unstraight walls and unstraight bowing ceiling. So there is the non-standard to deal with uh, quite a lot of the time and having to think of genius ways to complete your project. So that is definitely the case in this room, but nothing's impossible to be honest. And once everything is filled and looking lovely, I'll be able to then quickly paint it over so that it's looking lovely and smooth. And that'll be the top part of the room done and we can finish off on the bottom. But it's looking really, really good and I'm really pleased. And it was amazing how quickly it turned from a construction site to a beautiful room just by adding coving and hiding the plasterboard connection that we did put on there early on the walls. What do you think? Mm -hmm.